Uh, okay. Sorry, everything above my nose is all sweaty because of the <clears throat> headset. So I am at a loss. Um, I jumped into VR chat just to fiddle around with some things. Um, and in there, I wanted to just demonstrate how I can stop my left hand's control over movement by going into the action menu. And then there, I forgot the last time I was describing this, but um, this time I wanted to show that um, even though the action menu in the left hand is kind of locked out, uh, I don't have to throw tomatoes anymore. <laughs> um, I can access the action menu in the right hand at the same time. So that's awesome and access all the little fun gimmicks and toys that the avatar might have on it. And then I believe I had a segment where I was demonstrating how I can do the different gestures while the left hand was locked in action menu. But that particular avatar was kind of difficult to see the differentiations of in fingers and stuff. And then I jumped into Resonite just because I know that Resonite has more um, customization over the settings in which you have for your hands, or at least I thought they did. I thought they would have like keybinds or something like that. Um, but as it turns out, I was, but as it turns out, it's, a little more simplified than that. There might be some advanced settings somewhere that I need to find, but just in my cursory sort of jump into Resonite and mess around with the settings, uh, it didn't really solve anything. And in fact, it brought up more questions. So I essentially disabled the motion that the left controller, or at least I think I did, um, that the left controller has, or inputs and I was still walking backwards so I could counter that by pushing forwards and kind of I think it was at a slower rate but I was still able to make progress forwards but the minute that I let off on my tra on my um analog stick I would immediately start going backwards again and then I can give other assignments to it like if I did um turn strafe and turn and movement are the two most horrendous settings for my situation right now but if i give it turn then i can get motion sickness by having the character just constantly in like a turning animation and then i think i can like press forward and then like kind of do a little circle <laughs> type of thing but why would i do that uh so yeah, that didn't really, and then there was even a moment where I got really fed up with this, the whole situation, and I just tried to turn off everything so that I could have my hands, but none of them would be associated to, like, locomotion. And that's when a lot of the questions started popping up, because if the program isn't asking for locomotion from my hands, then why am I moving backwards still? You know, it's like it's like looking out at the ocean's horizon and just being like, I know there's a horizon there. I know there's an island somewhere off in the distance in that direction, according to those stars. But now I'm aware that there are depths to this ocean and I can't see the bottom. <laughs> so it's it's just so frustrating. And then. Last night I had the idea, and the only reason why I'm doing any of these um, tests right now is because last night I had the idea of, oh, well, maybe the last input, the last um, input that the controller received is the one that it's kind of stuck on. So maybe if I go into the Oculus, now the meta software, and try to reset the memory of it somehow. Um, so I tried to do that in the software. I tried to physically turn off and, you know, repair the controller to the headset. And, you know, but I, I guess it never really, um, it never really occurred to me that taking out the battery would probably be the same thing as all of those that, you know, 
But anyways, I mean, this entire process would be so much simpler if you could just have the option to go into the settings or even like keybinds or something and just not have locomotion assigned to the analog stick of either one or the other. You know, like, come on. <laughs> So I jumped into, after doing all that, that's when I jumped into VRChat, that's when I jumped into Resonite, and I'm still met with some possession of locomotion. Like, <laughs> I don't, I just don't know anymore. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know anymore. I can work around it, but it's not, it's not a happy existence, so... Um, but at least now I know where I'm at in my VR equipment. So, and like I said, I now know how to, I know methods. I need to fine tune some in Resonite apparently, but I know some methods to work around those issues. So working on top of that, um, I think I can finally now move forward. I think I can stop fixating on this and just move on to the next thing.